My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, a married man, put your ring on your thumb. I'm married. <laughs> um, Zach keeps making all these hobbit jokes because I'm short and I've got a ring now. Yep. Really distasteful. Really distasteful, but good. I'm happy. I'm happy. You should have heard him while you are away. Who fucking hobbit got married? Oh. You find the ring. Pitch clock. Oh, sports. Sports. The pitch clock is here in baseball and people are, I don't know, it's mixed bag. A lot of people are upset, but I think it's a very vocal minority that just like being mad about everything. Jim, I'm going to hit you with your politics you theory. Yeah. Like the two sides of crazy are actually closer to each other than the people in the middle that are trying to figure it out. Magnet or horseshoe effect. Yeah, that they're just, you know, in the middle, they're like, well, it could use a tweak here and there, but the construct is good. And then the people on the ends are like, stop running for homers. And the other people are like, uh, make baseball slower. And yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's a good time to be on the interstate. Baseball's bad. I will enjoy the pitch clock once all the trouble of adjusting is over, which yeah. I think that's where I'm getting frustrated. We're like, we don't want games ending with infractions. Duh. No one wants I that. Agree. MLB, the new rule was like, let's have games and infractions. You get all the infractions out of the way and then they're not going to happen anymore because people are going to get used to it. Frog heaven. Frog heaven's really nice. Jim, this almost a breakdown. You were at this, I think, this Japanese zoo in Itachi City. Uh, they were practicing their bear escape drill. Out me as a furry, mid-show. Great video, though, because if a bear does escape, you have to practice for that. Right. You got to put a guy in the costume, and he's going to run around. So this guy's running around. Eventually, you see the gun come out the window. Zach, yeah. highlight that. And, you're like, and they shoot the bear. Bear falls, then they bring the net over him and all that. You do fire alarms in school. You do bear escapes at zoo. Terrible acting by the bear. The man or woman who was in the bear costume, it they were they were like as if they pulled the short straw. Oh, I go to the costume. You need the guy who wants to be the bear. This bear was caught so easily. It was not realistic. I couldn't disagree more. The bear was a fantastic actor. A bear escapes the zoo. It's not like he goes on a rampage. Like that's the movies. You're not gonna Did get you caught. see this bear? He was like confused and like, where the fuck am I? Yeah. Because he's a Wild bear that's at a zoo. It yeah. was fantastic acting. More, more wild animals that escape zoos coming up later Heads in the show. Tails. tails. But first, the more sports. Oh, Jim, the more sports. And nowhere I bet on sports, DraftKings. You ever been there? Yeah, I have. Nice. <laughs> Zach, in more sports, this is an old-fashioned high tea fest as we've got a coach ref stare down. Oh, mm. and that's a key part in the video because they each get closer each get to each closer. other. The coach that's takes perfect. Fran takes two steps, yeah. Fran and McCaffrey. I and the ref he takes two steps. Says I can I can take steps as well. And the refs kind of got this face on, like it's a short guy slash shorter guy slash I'm the ref face. We doing this? Like I realize I look like a bag of suck, but I'll play your game. Yeah, and then the coach his team comes on to win goes on to win huge they, comeback huge comeback. He gets so, rewarded for this in the press conference. They're like, "Do you think the technicals <laughs> helped?" And he's like, "Do you think they did?" Smiling because he does think they did. Oh, can you throw it to the not sports? I have a great. This is so good. This is one of my favorite not sports in a while. I almost don't want to because uh, Zach, the not sports is about an owl that escaped and a love story. Zach, you're going to like this one. <laughs> there is an owl named Flacco that escaped the Central Park Zoo. Okay. Now, this is the first time I am incredibly jealous of bird watchers mm. because this owl. The first time? The first time. Yeah, No, no. Truthfully, this owl escaped the Central Park Zoo. Yes. And it's now taking residency in Central Park. So all of the bird watchers, all of the Twitter accounts, Central Park Birds, Manhattan Bird Alert, all these accounts are like, whoa, Add. there's already an owl in Central Park named Geraldine. Before we keep going, Hottie throws up. Yeah. Zach, you like that? Owl pellet puke. Yes. <laughs> Flacco's putting on a show like trying to win over Central Park. Yeah. Like, oh, you think Geraldine's pretty. Look what I can do. And he's just doing all this uh. cute stuff. And now people are trying to get Geraldine and Flacco to become king and queen of the park Unite and fuck. Now, Jake, this is where I don't know if you saw this. Evolutionary biology professor Richard Prum says it won't happen. There's no chance that Flacco will mate with local great horned owl in Central Park. Flacco and Geraldine can surely enjoy each other's company in a platonic way that is perhaps imperceptible to anyone who isn't an owl. This guy's saying that they can have a, a platonic relationship that we can't even understand as humans. I need him to become Scrooge and the birds fuck and then everyone 
flips the bird to that professor in his face. Scientists literally know nothing. Um, <laughs> this owl cat's just guessing. There's another news story. It's not on here that the earth got three centimeters closer to the moon this year. Guess who doesn't know that? Anyone. What about if we have like one bad spin? Mm. There's another article that was, we found two galaxies that they thought couldn't exist anymore. Oh, well, guess what? You don't know shit. Yeah. Because you're not out there. Yeah. So these birds could bang. These Is this because you watched Interstellar recently? Yeah, I watched <laughs> it on the flight. Uh, <laughs> let's sing our song. Geraldine, how could you be true? Flacco oh, Geraldine. wants you. We'll figure it out. It's the employee of the, of the week. week. Boom, it's boom, boom, boom. Employee of, of the week. week. Do, 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 do. I'm week. giving it to our guy Beebs. Yeah. Wow. He doesn't even know. The bug bug dude. We've been doing team profile and projections, player profile and projections, episode a day, every day until opening day on Talking Baseball and Talking Yanks. He's the producer of both of those shows. And I went on vacation. You went on vacation. Mm -hmm. I went on vacation with you and Beebs held down the fort. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Listening to the Talking Yanks episode where Beebs did the open was kind of like, whoa. What a long, strange. Tr oh my God, it's Flacco. <laughs> that was the weekly dumb. This episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. College basketball is nearing the final stretch, and what you can do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers will use promo code DUMB. You bet $5 on pregame money line for any basketball game, and you get $150 in bonus bets if your bet wins. That's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. So you think the ref's in on it? No, I think the coach thinks his stare down Oh, a worked. thousand percent. And now the ref feels like, shit, I got caught. I think I might be going ref's in on it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. A little motivation. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little Use you it on spark the, the boys? Because a lot of refs would have given a teep. <laughs> Stared at me too long. Give Zach a technical. <laughs> you're out. Wow, yours is kind of... I go backhand. Why? Europe. Don't they do this? That's more time out, I think. Come over the top. I think, yeah, refs come over the top. Yeah. You know who's got a really good technical? Nikki Cass, when he does the ref on his TikTok thing. That's so funny. I don't follow any of his stuff. 